Hello everyone, welcome to Biomedical Channel. Now we are dealing with biological classification series, and now this is the last topic of our series that is viroi, prions, and lichens. We have seen about viruses in our previous videos. Now in this video, let us start about viroids. Now what are viroids? Now this viroids, this was discovered by T. O. Diener in 1971. This date is very important. Viroids were discovered in 1971 by T.O. Diener. Now, T.O. Diener discovered a new infectious agent that was smaller than viruses and causes potato spindle tuber disease. Means, these jo viroids are wo virus se bhi chote hai. Aur these viroids causes a disease jis ka naam hai potato spindle tuber disease. Means, potato jo hota hai, uska normal size hota hai aisa. Now this potato becomes spindle shape like this one. Okay, they become spindle shape. Now they become spindle shape due to this viroids. Now this disease is called potato spindle tuber disease. Now, ये जो viroid है, it was found to be a free RNA. Means this viroid. Normally we have seen that virus जो होता है, उसमें होता है एक protein coat और protein coat के अंदर होता है that genetic material which may be RNA or DNA. But here, this, this protein coat is absent. So, only the genetic material is present, which is a free RNA, and it lacks the protein coat that is found in the viruses. Hence, the name is viroid. Because it lacks the protein coat, which is virus no present, this is the viroid. Now, the genetic material RNA hai, the RNA of the viroid, it was of low molecular weight as compared to other viruses. Okay? Now let us see prions. In modern medicine, certain infectious neurological diseases are found to be transmitted by an agent consisting of abnormally folded protein. Now, viroids we have seen that protein was absent. Tha. In viroids, protein was absent. But here, protein is present, but that protein is abnormally folded protein. The agent was similar in size to that of the viruses. Now, viroid was smaller than the viruses, but prions, they are of same size as that of viruses. Now, these agents are called prions. The most notable disease caused by the prions are, now, these two diseases are very important. These diseases are caused by the prions. What are these diseases? These are bovine spongiform encephalopathy. BSE that is also called mad cow disease in the cattle and its analog variant CR Jacob disease CJD in the humans. Bobin spongiform encephalopathy. Bobin spongiform encephalopathy it is caused in the cattle so it is also called mad cow disease and its analog variant that is CR Jacob disease. This disease is caused in humans. Now come to lichens. The lichens are symbiotic association. Symbiotic association means mutually useful association. Means if this is one organism, this is another organism. Symbiotic relationship means the first organism should benefit second organism. And the second organism should also in turn benefit the first organism. Now lichen is symbiotic association between algae and the fungi. So this is algae and this is fungi. Okay. Now, this symbiotic relationship between algae and fungi are called lichens. Now, here the algal component is known as phycobiont and the fungal component is known as mycobiont. Means, this is phycobiont and the fungal component is called mycobiont. So, since algae phycobiont, the phycobiont is autotrophic and mycobiont is heterotrophic. This is autotrophic. And this is mycobion, which is the fungal component. It is the heterotrophic, respectively. Now, algae prepare food for the fungi, and fungi provide shelter and absorb mineral, nutrient, and water from its partner. Mm -hmm. Algae prepare food for the fungi, and fungi provide shelter, absorb mineral, nutrients, and water from its partner. Now, this is how they mutually useful or they mutually benefit each other. Means algae, algae fungi ke liye food provide karta hai. 
इन टर्न फंगी एलगी को शेल्टर प्रोवाइड करता है एज वेल एज फंगी एलगी से फूड एंड न्यूमिनल न्यूट्रिशन एब्जॉर्व भी करता है सो क्लोज इन दर एसोसिएशन सो क्लोज इन दर एसोसिएशन दैट इफ वन सो ए लाइक इन इन नेचर वन वुड नेवर इमेजिन दैट दे हैड टू डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिजम्स विद इन दैम मतलब अगर आप नेचर पे कभी लाइकन देखें ना लाइकन कैन बी सीन इन द ट्रंक ऑफ मेनी ट्रीज ओके ट्रीज में आप देख सकते हैं कि ऐसे कुछ लाइकन कुछ धब्बे प्रेजेंट होते हैं वो है लाइकन सो so, अगर कोई इसको देखे तो कोई इसको कभी भी इमेजिन ही नहीं इमेजिन नहीं कर सकता कि इसमें दो ऑर्गेनिज्म हैं ओके दे लुक सो क्लोज मतलब आप डिफरेंशिएट नहीं कर सकते कि इसमें फंगी भी है और एलगल भी है लाइकन सर वेरी ग्लू दे आर वेरी गुड पोल्यूट पोल्यूशन इंडिकेटर्स दे डो नॉट ग्रो इन पोल्यूटेड एरियाज नाउ नोट दैट लाइकन्स दे आर वेरी सेंसिटिव टू सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड एसो टू ओके सो लाइकन्स दे डोंट ग्रो इन एसो टू पोल्यूटेड एरियाज दे डोंट ग्रो इन एसो टू पोल्यूटेड एरियाज सो This was all about viroids, prions, and lichens. Now let us see a very small topic. Now let us see here that kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia. Actually, we will study in details about this kingdom in our later on chapters. But here one line is important. Mark that line only. That bladder word. and venus fly trap these are the examples of insectivorous plants and cascota cascota is a parasitic plant okay now this line is only important line here bladderwort and venus fly trap examples of which plant insectivorous and cascota is an example of parasitic plant so thank you guys so thereby we have completed our biological classification chapter in our next video onwards we will start kingdom plant which is a very important chapter so hope you like this videos guys no so if you like this videos please do subscribe which will motivate me to make more such videos and i will try my level best to cover the whole ncert for your neat examination so see you in the next video till then keep studying bye bye